This first case is um, from a 51-year-old female. This is a biopsy on the right arm. So let's take a look at it. You can see it's kind of a dome-shaped uh, dermal lesion that's been transected at the bottom. Um, it does not communicate with the epidermis. Um, of which the epidermis looks uh, quite unremarkable. And then as we look down um, on higher power, uh, we can see that there are cleft-like spaces, there are spindle cells and no specific pattern interspersed among uh, the some collagen fibers, but mostly the collagen is being pushed to the side um, or somewhat entrapped at the edges. There's no fat entrapment here. <clears throat> The cells themselves are uh, spindle celled, as I said, and uh, with somewhat uh, wavy or uh, comma shaped or angulated uh, cells. Um, they look a bit squirrely, um, unlike smooth muscle cells. Uh, also, there are mast cells interspersed uh, here and there, as you can see. We do have some inio stains for this lesion. Here's an S100. Not surprisingly, it's positive. You can see it staining the uh, spindle cells in this lesion. And let's check out a melanase stain. Completely negative. So the melanase stain I did because um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't some sort of spindly melanoma, um, especially in the context of the S100 being positive. And you can see a nice positive control up here in the junctional, benign junctional uh, melanocytes. So uh, S100 positive, um, melanase negative, uh, dermal dome-shaped lesion. I think this is most likely a uh, neurofibroma. So that's what I ended up calling it.